what up doggies hope everyone's had a good day hope everyone's having a good um yeah end of the week if you're in australia i want to know what do you think of actrons um let us know in the comments i just want to know what you reckon about the esp range do you actually rate it or do you think they're rubbish like just curious what everyone thinks do you think soft starters are any good do you support actron being one of the last australian manufacturers out there just yeah curious what your thoughts are um but anyway in this video i just go to a service call on a unit that's flashing e9 and yeah um hope everyone has the weekend off enjoys it and i'll see ya on the next one let's go Inside. It's 20 degrees today, so I just put it on heating and put the temperature up, so about 25. Turned it on, walked outside, this was running, these are running, and it's just turned off before we've even opened the panel. So we'll see what the go is. This is massively on an angle, but anyway. Um, so in the past, I have worked on this. It's done two of these in its lifetime, it's the soft starter. <laughs> Don't get me started on soft starters. Anyway, so E9 means it's a high or low pressure fault. So Tom's just gone inside. He's going to put it on fan only and just see if the indoor fan runs. I know that these two run. So I just want to know if the indoor fan's running. And I'll put my gauges on and I'll... um basically see what it's doing reset it so i'm just going to confirm um i think that the indoor fan isn't running and we just put it on heating so i'm assuming that it's um just cutting out of hp but obviously i'm going to confirm that gauges Not much room to work with here. So Tom's gonna go turn this on to heating and just stand under the return air. He's going to see if that turns on and I'll suss out out here. So that's that, you know, around 14, 1500 KPA, just like balanced standing pressure. See what happens. Fans are running. Beautiful. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, how's the indoor fan? Yeah. yeah, the indoor fan isn't going. And that's going to cut out on HP any moment now. Alright, so Tom can't hear the indoor fan. So it's on heating and that's seriously high. So this will cut out on HP. Ah, uh, that's frustrating. I didn't want to get in the roof today, being a Saturday. <laughs> anyway, let's get up in the roof. Jesus Christ. 
But this thing is so seized. Yeah, you can't even turn it by hand. Dude. Like that is seized something chronic. Yeah, that's rooted, mate. Let me just work out what's the best way to go about this. Alright, so can you please um, just isolate the power? So, like, there should be an isolator next to the unit. Yeah. If there's not, just turn the circuit breaker off at the switchboard. And can you just ask them, just tell them that the fan is completely seized. Like I actually, legitimately, I can't turn that. Like, I've never had something that seized before. Are you going to take it out? Or? Yeah, so, well, that's, can you just... I, it, uh, this definitely needs to be replaced because it's completely seized. I can just take it out right now. And that just speeds up the process of getting this rectified. Like, yeah. you can sort of just order one straight away. But I just want to, before I take it out, <laughs> yeah. And um, if they want, can you just bring in my Sid Chrome socket set, please? Yeah. Thanks, bro. Okay, so this thing is. Yeah, it's. Got to get a new one. I've never ever seen something totally locked up like that ever in my life. But this is a bit of a different fan. Normally you just got the cable coming off it with three different actives, a neutral and an earth. But this one's got this little box and it's basically got two plugs that go into it. Which is interesting. Can't say I've ever seen that before. Anyway, this was put in by someone else in 2015. Um, they actually snapped the bolt doing it, <laughs> and they just ended up putting two screws in. So, this is the second one. So, that's a bit odd that it's completely seized. Um, anyway. I'll look further into that, but that's the problem. So we'll get a get a new one, go back, get it sorted.